It's no good. Things aren't falling together. It doesn't seem that they are. We've made correction after correction, and the problems just keep piling up. That is, though, well enough. The answers one finds on the other side of worrying and wavering have a value all their own. You're right. But we should do something to refresh ourselves. What do you say we go outside? Huh? What happens if we go outside? What do you normally do when you reach a dead end like this? Normally, I don't do anything special. Either change the literature I'm looking at or switch to another experiment. <laughs> that won't refresh you at all. I've never thought that I needed refreshment in the midst of experimentation. <sighs> so you spend every waking hour researching or experimenting? Well, yes. To be accurate, I normally don't sleep very much, though. You're kidding. Of course not. Anyway, let's head out for now. It'll feel a bit different if we're just able to get some fresh air. That seems grossly inefficient, but I suppose if that's how things are done in your world, there's some value in trying it out. Of course, I'll... Hey, come on already, let's go. I'm not a child. You don't need to hold my hand. You can leave the attitude at home. Now come this way. Ah, oh, this feels great. Don't you think so? To be honest, I don't really know. The air in your world and the air in this world surely differ in subtle ways, and it may be that dissimilarity that's causing the difference in our perceptions. You don't do anything to refresh yourself. You don't sleep. Hasn't anyone said anything to you about that? Like the other people in the Magus Covenant? I am Eleanor Gloria, the Cosmic Flower. None dare speak against me. Ah. She's still young. No, still a child. And yet she doesn't even sleep, let alone do anything to refresh herself. Is she really okay? Those eyes of yours, Isabel. Are you worried about me? Well, yes, I'm a bit concerned. You're a peculiar person indeed. You're concerned about this land, and you're concerned about me. Why can't you go straight toward what you want? <sighs> I wonder. I can't say for sure. Mother, father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for hurting you! She's not crying because she's lonely. She's crying because her parents are bound to this world. And they're suffering. Did I ever care about how Kyle would feel if I brought him back to life? How he'd feel if I bound him to this world? It's just like you say. I'm always wavering when it comes to approaching what it is that I want. Don't you want to bring your partner back to life? I wanted to do that. I still do, but... No. This isn't the right way. Move on, Isabel. Don't look back. I don't know. Don't know your own feelings? I didn't know that was possible. For someone who creates such complicated formulae, you can sure sound simple. For someone who creates such simplistic formulae, you certainly get deep inside your own head. Isabel. Rowan. Do you know him? Yes. Could we have a few moments alone? Go ahead. I'll be back in the laboratory. You got here in one piece too, I see. Yeah. I heard that you were in the Mages Guild and came here. Do you still want me to kill you? No. I needed you to see this. I finally understand now. Understand the potential of commanding and controlling the Black Dragon's power. That's your way of taking responsibility, isn't it, Rowan? There's no simple way to do that. I'm satisfied with having taken the first step. But there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee that you won't go on the rampage again. Yes, you're right about that. 
Make me believe you, Rowan. Show me your power. All right. I'll use this power. Not to die, but to live. Make me believe you. I fight to live. What do you do? under the collar. Thank you. Oh, fire! Unleash your heat! Is ever my bed. Rescuing people's a hobby of mine! Won't be long now. Guess I got too hot under the collar. Let the wind blow down. The wind some you lose. Oh fire! Could Unleash you your heat. That's it for now. People's a hobby of mine. You're done for. I've been forged and burned them oh. to ash. Stop in this land! Guess I got too hot under the collar. You Dragon Strike Blade! Conserving waters, sustain me. I'm sorry. Thank you. It won't be long now. It isn't power I mend your ways. Isabel. You must 
must have been in such pain. Rowan, you must have gone through so much in this world to gain powers like that. I'm sorry. I'm still learning. But I'll... No. I don't want to see this. I'll end up wanting to forgive you. Forgive you for murdering Kyle. Go, Rowan. I understand now. Right. No matter what happens to you, the facts won't change. The past won't change. Remember that. Because if you change, then I'll have to change too. Finished yet? Weren't you going back to the laboratory? I'm not sure about that. I found myself wondering about you. Your bad habits appear to be contagious. Bad habits? That's a harsh way to put it. It's a joke. Don't take it so personally. Ugh, I know, I know. Do I really look that down? You certainly don't look happy. Oh. I'm hopeless. Whatever the people around me do, I just follow along. In so many different ways. Hmm. You're suffering so much on account of setting your roots in the ground. You should set them somewhere outside the world. Like me. Aren't you lonely? That came out of nowhere, Isabel. Conversation is nothing if not sudden. Lonely? Nah. Even if I were, it, it would be meaningless. Hmm. I don't really know. You might be right. Surely you're nice and refreshed now, Isabel. Let's return. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. This land, this girl... Rowan. I'm always getting distracted in some way or another. Would you hate me if you could see me, Kyle? Or would you just smile and laugh and tell me I'm being ridiculous? <laughs>